the show. And we're starting today with a true Renaissance woman. I don't use that often, but it's true in this case. The one, the only, Tanitra Batiste. Hi, Tanitra. Hi, you look stunning today. You are so sweet. Thank you, you for being here. Thank you for being here. How yeah. was your night last night? Oh, man, it was a crazy, another crazy night, but not a bad night because anytime the Hawks can actually win a game, yes. we're absolutely happy about that. So they got a Lakers team that was on a back-to-back, -back, and mm. they not just won, but they actually blew them out. So Ooh, great good. Tuesday for us. Yeah, yeah. except nice. there's one sad thing I have what? to report, too, though. Claude Felton, who's been over sports for UGA for the last 45 years, is retiring oh. today. Kara, he is one of one. He always made each and every one of us feel so special on the beat. So congratulations to him, but a loss to us in this media sports world oh, here in Atlanta. 45 years. 45 years with UGA. Amazing, man. And that, that well, you just said it. It's when somebody remembered, because there's lots of reporters around and yeah. people, and especially if you've been doing that job for an extended period of time, that he remembers your name. Yes. You know, and that you have that camaraderie. Mm -hmm. That's, that speaks to a lot to a person's character. Indeed. So, yeah, indeed. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. So Trails ahead. Mm -hmm. Happier trails mm -hmm. for him. He's yeah. going to enjoy a lot of fishing trips to come. <laughs> so speaking of enjoying, you know, some people enjoy dressing up like you and me. Mm -hmm. Others find that it is something that is totally not anything that they want to do each and every day. So we talked about Isaiah, your yes. son, and talked about whether or not he's that guy who likes to look dapper when uh -huh. he goes to school or yeah. not. Yeah, well, my husband said this morning they came downstairs and I have two boys mm -hmm. and um, he said, do you all need new clothes? Because you wear the same thing every morning. But, you know, it's just easy for them to, yeah. like, put on the same thing, I guess. Right. My nephew's the same, but apparently <laughs> not for James Ramage in Maine. He's a seven-year-old who decided that he wanted to do a remix to Wednesdays. He calls it Dapper Wednesdays. And every Wednesday, he gets dressed to the nines, up and down. He gets early, gets up early in the morning to get dressed for school. And he absolutely loves it. He feels like it kind of sets him apart and it makes things a little fun and different. I mean, look at him. He's, like, so sharp and I absolutely love it and it's like the rest of the kids are kind of just doing their thing but James is kind of taking it to a different level and I can appreciate him because I was that kid who didn't just rely on like picture day to look yeah. good I kind of wanted to jazz it up every day so look at him jazzing it up each and every day in school in Maine oh my should we all do dapper Wednesday Kevin on the crew does dapper every day but Ooh, I do he does Kev. I do notice that you know, when people dress up and they look nice, and especially here in the South, I mean, oh, the ladies yeah. and the men, they dress here, which is something I just, I appreciate each and every time. Oh, yeah, I, yeah I, I was the girl in school that, like, I like to accessorize. So oh, I don't know yeah. if I was really into my clothes, but I had the earrings mm -hmm. and the purse. And, mm -hmm. and, and your shoes. Belt. Yeah, the shoes. But that's what yeah. makes the outfit, just like James, he had on his funky yeah. hat, and it's like I your accessories that. totally make the outfit. And you're right, here in Atlanta, everything, including a Hawks game, is absolutely a reason to get dressed up and brunching that you and I love to yeah, do yes, all the yes, time. So, it's true. But yeah, I thought that was so cute at seven. He has that so much cute. personality and panache. Yeah. And another a story that I thought you would love, a little yeah. swag for the seven-year-old. <laughs> yes, yes. Another story that I thought you would love, especially because we've now found out that there have been a couple of new uh, winners of our lottery, right? Yes. So, yeah, so we've got these new lottery winners, and I kind of feel like this gentleman struck the lottery as well. Julian Julian Navas, mm -hmm. he, Nieves rather, he actually was going on just his average run-of-the-mill trip to Arkansas State Park. But this happens to be a park that has some diamonds, and if you go on the right excursion and you hit the jackpot like he did, you find a 7.5 carat, I think, brown diamond, a chocolate diamond. Look at that. And guess what? Care. You know what makes it better? Oh, He's what? engaged. Oh. He's engaged, so I feel like his fiance may have hit the jackpot. <laughs> okay, how do you know that that is something? I mean, I would kick that with my shoe. I yeah. wouldn't know that that is a seven and a half carat chocolate. Top. Right. And you go to these state parks, and you know, you kind of have your little machine that kind of finds these diamonds in the yes, rough. No, yes. no pun intended. But yeah, he was actually traveling through to New Orleans and decided he'd stop at the state park. And I'm thinking, being a New Orleanian, that's the jewel. Getting to my yes. home city is the jewel. But no. Oh, he found the jewel oh, at the Arkansas State Park. That's Can cool. you imagine? I cannot imagine. And we hit the lottery with you today, Tanitra. Thank you for being here. We so Thank appreciate you. you. We'll be back on Friday. Give it up, yeah. Tanitra. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, really 